hello and today I am in Nigel to go and collect something because there was a bit of a disaster with Nigel yesterday in fact of all the things that could have happened to it this is quite possibly one of the worst Yesterday I took the day off because it was my wedding anniversary and it was also my wife's so we went off in the car with a view to going to Skipton but didn't really get that far unfortunately because you see as well as us two there are two small girls as well involved and they came with us because they are our responsibility and somebody puked in the car I can tell you now it wasn't me and if you have ever experienced the smell of puke, you'll know that it's not particularly nice. No, it smells like puke, quite literally. I think something stinking of puke, when it doesn't actually smell of puke, was inspired by the fact that puke smells so badly. I have just popped up to borrow a wet and dry vacuum cleaner. I have a dry vacuum cleaner, but I don't have a wet one, and that's what this needs right now. So, for the rest of the afternoon, Nigel should be getting this uh, clean up. You can probably tell that I am driving Nigel right now, and you may be wondering why am I driving such a car if it smells so badly. Well, with the window open, it's not too bad. But obviously, if I was to close all the windows and leave it in the sunlight, not only that, in just less than a week's time, this car is going to be driven by somebody quite well known for a car review. Maybe I should try and let you guess who that person is, because I'm not going to tell you, not till the day. But I will tell you that this chap is even better known than Mr. Hugman. In fact, my subscriber count is only 1% of this chance. So, I do want him to like it, and I would dream of having somebody drive my car smelling of puke. That's the jobby. As you can see, I've taken the back seat out and that uh, is a little bit grubby looking. So that's the first thing I'm going to clean. It's starting to look quite nice. What I'm more bothered about is it not smelling of puke. As you can see, I've soaked the carpet. And it's going to be all, well, there's a puddle over there. I should start with that. Well, that's one clean of the carpet and the bench. Not the seats yet, but what will the water inside look like? Uh, frothy is the answer. There's not that much there. It was quite dirty though. I've just got a new bucket of water to clean the seats with. Oh, and the bench as well, and then possibly the carpet again. And possibly the carpet. <laughs> um, I am almost pleased that the carpet and the seat got puked on now because this is coming up really really nicely. You see the dirt lifting out of that there? That doesn't belong in there. That's an excellent job. 
that's better than I was expecting. I'm very, very, very happy with that indeed. Watch. It was like this yesterday. And now it's like this. So, there we go. Hello. I'm sitting in my driver's seat now. The other seat's not in. I had to move the car because there was some sanding going on down there and uh, it was covering the car in dust and the carpets and the seat as well so that's why the car is here and not up there but it's not a problem i would call that job done the only thing is now the interior is covered in dust so i want to vacuum it out again now Oh, by the way, that's the water that's come out of the seats and the carpet. Looks like oxtail soup. Ugh. Look at that in there as well. Sludge. Just before I go home today, it's time to put Mr. Mitch to some use. Mr. Mitch is going to ease the transition of these wheels from this oh, area of the yard to up the other end of the yard. You may be wondering why I go to such an effort to cart these wheels about one by one and I could just bung them in the back of the car. But the amount of time I've spent cleaning this today, do you really think I want to put wheels in, no matter how clean they appear to be? Just been into the shop, 20 minutes or so back in the car and the only thing I can smell is um, pine so hopefully that's how it will stay. Do you think that young people are becoming more and more numb? Well what a terrible thing to say about young people eh? But here's one of those things it doesn't really matter but there's queuing up there in Aldi my shopping on the conveyor belt there's this couple walked up behind me they only had four items uh, so I put the thing there for them to put their four items on. There was loads of space on the conveyor belt because they only had three or four things. But yet they, they bunched it right up to my items and stood right behind me like this, which is completely unnecessary. I'm not bothered, but it's completely unnecessary. But the numb part is that one of their items was a, like a flask. And as the conveyor belt moved, it fell over into my items. And they didn't notice. And this was after five or six minutes or so. They still hadn't noticed because they were both just stood there not talking to each other, just on their phones. And then it come to my items being paid for. And I got right to the end and they were stood right next to their stuff by this point. And I said, oh, that flask isn't mine, by the way. And the cashier chap said, oh, right, oh, and he said, oh, is it yours? And the young chap, looked up from his phone and just went and that was it he didn't know no uh, oh sorry I didn't realize I didn't mean to do that I'm not you know, don't expect any great apologies or anything like that but some sort of recognition eye contact any of this kind of thing but nothing just I call that rather numb like really really numb but also normal people and they're never going to know who they are they're never going to watch this video well, they might do, but they're never going to watch this video and think that's them, are they? No. And so, here we are, at the end of another special Nigel episode, where Nigel gets better, hopefully better, all over, and rather, 
rather than just the rest of the carpet and seats that are cleaned. Hopefully it will all be good. Thank you. See you in the next one. <laughs> coming yeah see one's coming the other way oh. no wow three trees This is one of the most spectacular views I've ever seen. And it's in Hebden Bridge. Let's have a proper look over here. to upset Nigel. Don't want to make him worried. Hey, I can't get to it! <laughs> 